July the 20th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at the update from 8 p.m. Eastern today from the National Hurricane Center. The only thing that's changed really is that the disturbance number one that's over Cuba has increased its chance of development from 20 to 30 percent. Now, disturbance number three right here that's very close to the Texas coast, the center of location is very dry, but it's throwing some moisture up towards Louisiana. We'll take a look at that on the satellite imaging. In the Atlantic, still at a 20% chance of development. For you, but for you guys in Florida tonight and going into the Gulf over the next couple of days, this is very important. 30% chance of development on this system that's over Cuba. This is 8 p.m. Eastern. A tropical wave is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms over much of Cuba, the central and northwestern Bahamas, southern Florida, and the adjacent waters. Gradual development of the system is possible while it moves west, northwestward during the next few days. This system is expected to be over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico um, on Tuesday, the central Gulf on Wednesday, and the northwestern Gulf on Thursday, and Friday. An Air Force Reserve Hurricane Hunter aircraft is scheduled to investigate this system tomorrow if necessary, and 30% chance of development over the next five days. Let's take a look at some of the satellite images. Guys, it's very close to the southern tip of Florida as we speak, and it's larger than this X. So I want you to pay attention to this. Look closely. There's a lot of activity at the surface, guys. I know it's a little hard to see right there, but in the last few frames you can see that how it's starting to rotate. And you're not very far from Florida at this point. And the Keys and Dry Tortegas in that area is going to be coming through there uh, this evening and, th and through tonight. So be aware of that if you're there. It's not very strong yet, but it's getting into warmer and warmer waters. This is going to be the problem for the next few days in 30% chance of develop. I don't want to make this video long. I want to get it up. You guys in South Florida need to be prepared for this, and everyone in the Gulf states needs to watch this storm very carefully. It's projected to move straight into Texas at this point. We've seen them move to the right many times. Guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.